Hey folks, like it or not, there are just some games that just work better with a controller. Thankfully, that doesn't mean that PC owners are left out. With the recent release of Sega's throwback, Sonic Mania, the thought of playing through a 16-bit side-scroller on a keyboard was about as appealing as playing through a Twitch shooter on a controller. So this video is going to show you how easy it is to hook up a PlayStation 4 controller to your PC. First up, the PS4 controller is Bluetooth, which means your PC is going to have to have Bluetooth connectivity for it to work. If you're using a laptop, this should be no problem as most have it built in these days. For desktop users, a Bluetooth dongle, it only costs a few pounds online and will do the job. If you're not sure if your computer has it, then simply go to the start menu and type Bluetooth and then go to the settings menu that pops up. Here you're going to be able to see if you've got it or no, and you're going to want to ensure that your device is set to discoverable. On the PS4 controller now, pairing is as simple as holding down the PS button and the share button until the light bar flashes. Eventually the PS4 controller is going to show up on your computer as an option and all you have to do is double click it and it will set itself up, as simple as. Now Steam users have the option to go into big picture mode, which when enabled is going to automatically start using the controller that you've just paired. This is like a console interface and if you're gaming on a TV from your couch then it's a great way to navigate through your library. Before you jump into a game though, you're going to want to go into the settings tab via that little gear icon in the top right and make sure everything is turned on for your controller of choice. And basically, that's it. Freed from the constraints of the keyboard, you feel free to sit back and relax. And if you come across any issues, generally a restart of Steam is likely to do the trick. And it really is that simple. But that's it for me folks, I've now got some retro gaming to do. So be sure to let me know how you get on and I'll see you all in the comment section down below and in the next video.